He's my wide receiver one heading into the 2019 NFL Draft. And a month ago, I didn't think I'd be saying that. Kelvin Harmon, the NC State Wolfpack wide receiver, is next as we continue with the 2019 NFL Draft Profile Series. The NFL Draft Profile Series, NFL Prospects. Break it down, let's get it. People's pin in the gridiron scholar. Time to do it major. Let's see who run in the field. Let's analyze the data. Yeah, let's go. All right, he's a South Jersey product. So right off the bat, I'm pulling for the kid being from the tri-state area. But Kelvin Harmon, tremendous production while he was at NC State. Prototypical wide receiver size. Don't hear many knocks or flaws regarding his game. John, are you excited about this kid moving to the next level and becoming an NFL wide receiver? Andy, absolutely. You and I did not talk about this prospect until we recorded today. And Kelvin Harmon is my number one wide receiver also. Now, I started watching Ryan Finley, the quarterback at North Carolina State, three years ago. And people who know college football, they had Nikeem Hines and they had Jalen Samuels on the team last year. While I was watching North Carolina State, guess who popped up? And I began to fall in love with this young man, Kelvin Harmon. He is my top rated wide receiver on the board. He has had a tremendous career for the Wolfpack. He was a 2018 All-ACC first team and 2017 All-ACC second team. He recorded back-to-back 1,000-yard -back crusades. And in 2018, he led the ACC in receiving yards. And my friends, the ACC is loaded with quarterbacks and wide receivers. So this young man outdid all of those. At the end of his campus tenure, he finished third in receiving yards and fourth in receptions in school history. He's entering the NFL with a very, very productive resume. But what really cemented it for me when I'm looking at the career stats, he hits all three benchmarks that I look for in production. He has 177 receptions. He averaged 15.1 yards per reception, and he had a 25% team catch share. This young man is ready for the NFL. Looking at the scouting report as I watch the film, Andy mentioned it. He's six foot three and 213 pounds. He's a very physical competitor who gives you maximum effort. But what I like on him, he has an excellent combination of size, physicality, ball skills, technique, and hand-eye coordination. All of it is there that you are looking for for a first-round pick in a wide receiver. He's fluid at the snap of the ball, and he accelerates well for a bigger receiver. But what I like about him is he fights and wins in tight coverage. He uses his frame to triumph at the catch point. He has exceptional body control and balance. He's only 21 years of age on draft day, and he projects as an ex-receiver as a professional. Andy, I concur with you. He's the top wide receiver on my board right now. Why don't you tell the listeners what you like about him also? So one of the great things I love about this new site, ExpandTheBoxScore.com, is it lets you see the targets that a player had. And Harmon had 110 and 113 over his past two seasons. You mentioned back-to-back 1,000-yard -back campaigns as well. In 2017, with Jalen Samuels and Naheem Hines, he had a 36.4% dominator rating with those two players in the offense. It now dropped to 28.8 .8 in 2018, but that's still, he's right at that 30% level for those of you who are into the dominator rating. He's got superiorly quick feet. He runs precise and crisp routes, and he shows great discipline in those routes. He holds his block well. I can recall seeing him sprint across from one sideline to the other all the way across field when he saw a run play was going to be extended just to get out in front and, and try to block for the running back to get a little bit more yards. He runs with consistency regardless of the play call. He's busting it out on every play, playing every play. I mean, that's something I can't say about every player. So uh, to see the willingness behind every snap that he takes to be involved, uh, it, it's, it's saying a lot. Now, he'll beat you by getting behind the defense, but he's not going to create a ton in the open field. When it breaks down, he freelances as well as well. He can be a quarterback's best friend. The best comp I can think of happens to be a song, and I'm trying to avoid the player comps these days, so I'll stick with this one. But Eric B. and Rakim had the song Don't Sweat the Technique in 1992. And to me, that's just what I think of when I watch him. He's smooth. You said fluid. To me, he's smooth. I have a first-round grade on him, and he's my wide receiver one in this class for his blend of having the highest floor with the potential for an all-pro level ceiling year in and year out. Let us know what you think of Harmon. Are you on the Kelvin Harmon bandwagon? Do you like the former Wolfpack receiver? Or uh, are you bumping him down the list for some other players in this year's crop of wide receivers? Leave it in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of today's video as well. Like it, subscribe, check out all the other players we're covering. 
Go to DynastyLeagueFootball.com. Go check out John's work on FootballDieHards.com. And, of course, check out the newly launched ExpandTheBoxBar.com for an advanced look at college statistics. All your metrics and data needs are right there at your fingertips. Thanks for watching today. Hope to see you next time.